everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today's video is going to be the travel tag. So the travel tag is just a video that is floating around YouTube. It's one of their tag videos and it's for all people who love travel and all that. So without further ado, I am gonna get started. I've written down all the questions from the travel tag video and yeah, let's let's get started. Let's let's go. So number one is what is the number one country on your bucket list? I would have to say South Africa is the number one country on my bucket list. I have been dying to go there forever. Unfortunately, flights are always way too expensive when I have the time to go. So hopefully in the next few years I can get to South Africa and start exploring because always want to go to Cape Town and then I've always wanted to do safari so it would just be a perfect place to visit and everyone that I know who's been there like speaks so highly of it so I definitely definitely want to do that. Number two is what countries have you visited? So I need to go on my visited app to tell you all of these so we're gonna it's updating the map it's going it's going it's going it's going up oh, here we go okay Ooh, let's see so I have been to 51 countries, let's see, Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, Austria, Barbados, Belgium, Cambodia, Canada, Cayman Islands, Colombia, Croatia, Cuba, Czech Republic, Denmark, Dominican Republic, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Grenada, Guernsey, Hong Kong, Hungary, Indonesia, Ireland, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, Laos, Malaysia, Malta, Mexico, Morocco, Myanmar, Netherlands, Nicaragua, Norway, Panama, Portugal, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Singapore, Slovenia, Spain, Switzerland, Taiwan, Thailand, the Bahamas, the United Arab Emirates, the United States of America, the Vatican, the Vietnam, the Vietnam, the Vatican, Vietnam, and of course the United Kingdom, since I live here. That's a long list. Number three is what is your most ideal holiday? I think that my most ideal holiday would be somewhere hot where there's a beach but where there's also a nice little town nearby that you can explore and hang out with locals and just kind of like kick back and relax and get like a nice feel like you can chill by the beach in the morning and then go out exploring in the afternoon. There's great activities. Yeah, I think that that would be my most ideal holiday. Number four, which place was so special that you want to go back? So I lived in Italy several years ago and I will go back to Italy over and over and over again forever and ever. It's probably the country that I would go back to over and over again without any issue or like being like, oh, well, I've already been there before because I love Italy so much, more specifically Florence and Tuscany, so I'm always down to go to Italy if you ever want to plan a trip. Number five, show us your nicest holiday photo. Ooh, I don't know what that would be. Let's give the gram, the good old gram a nice little scroll. So you can follow me on Taylor underscore Fuller on Instagram if you would like. I feel like I should pick one that's like semi-recent, maybe? This photo, I'll pop it on the side so you can see it better, but it's from Thailand and it's such a beautiful, beautiful setting. So definitely that photo. Number six, do you travel for work? Yes, I travel for work. I am a travel blogger, so I am always traveling for work. I am all over the place all the time, except right now I have nothing coming up and that scares me a little bit. Number seven, who are you going on holiday with most? So lately, over the last year, it's probably either my boyfriend Jake or other travel bloggers because they do a lot of press trips. Which, number eight, who would you like to go on vacation with? I think that there are many people that I would like to go on vacation with. My two best friends from college and I used to go on a trip every year together and we haven't done one. We didn't do one this past year. We did one the year before, but that we hadn't done one for a few years in between that. So we've been to Bali, Malaysia, Singapore, Spain, and the UK, and Dominican Republic together. I feel like I'm missing more places. But yeah, off the top of my head, that's where we've been together. So I'd love to do another trip with them. It's obviously a little bit tough because they live in America and I live over here. But if you're watching, Marissa and Nicole, let's get something planned. Number nine, who or what would you take with you on a deserted island? Well, I would take my boyfriend because I don't think I could go to a deserted island without him. 
and I would probably bring like a water filter and matches and a collection of books. I don't think I would want my phone or anything like that because I would just like to fully embrace the fact that it's a deserted island and I could be unplugged and I would have a good excuse for being unplugged. Number 10, did you ever go on a trip to the Netherlands? Yes, I've been to the Netherlands three times, all always to Amsterdam. I would love to go to the Netherlands and explore a couple of other cities there. But for now, yeah, it's just Amsterdam, but I love Amsterdam. When I was moving to London, I was actually deciding between moving to Amsterdam and moving to London, but London obviously won out. Number 11, amusement park or zoo. I love an amusement park. I love roller coasters. I love the thrill and the adrenaline rush of that, so I definitely say an amusement park. Number 12, ski or sun vacation. I'm gonna have to go with sun. I used to ski growing up, but I haven't gone skiing in like probably 10 years. Yeah, so I would definitely choose a sun vacation. I love the beach, I love the outdoors, and yeah, I just, I mean, when the sun is out, like how could you be in a bad mood, you know? Number 13, what is your nicest holiday memory? I think I have two. One of them would be exploring Thailand with my boyfriend for the first time. He had never been to Asia and I used to live in Thailand. So it was really fun to be able to experience that with him and share that with him. And then I think I would also have to say when the first time I went to Malta to meet my family and I got off the plane and there was like a huge crowd of people waiting for me with like, like a sign that said my name and it was just a really nice moment because I didn't realize that I had that many family members in Malta. So that was, that was a good one. Number 14, which countries are you going to this year? I can give you which countries I've been to this year. So this year, let's see. I've been to Germany, Thailand, the UAE, the US, Antigua, Spain, France, Guernsey, Austria, and Norway. I actually have nothing planned, but I'm hoping to make it to Sweden, maybe Poland, and maybe back to the States. I'm not sure if that'll be this year though or next January. So yeah, that's it for right now. And 15, where would you never go to? I think that's a tough one and I thank my friend Sandy who I was inspired by to do this video. She made a great comment at the end of her video saying that it's really tough because there are definitely places that you wouldn't go to for political reasons or because of wars and things like that, but it's really important to just stay educated. Just because you can't go somewhere now doesn't mean you'd, you'd never go there. So I'm, it's, I find that really hard to answer. There are of course some places that I don't really have like the desire to go to, but it's not that I like would never go there. So I'm just gonna leave that as a vague response. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a great time answering the questions. If you like what you saw, please as always give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. There's new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye.